Te 
testing one, two. Yeah.
fish are jumping and the cotton is a
Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to the March graduation ceremony of Stellenbosch University. My name is Bantu, and I kindly request your attention as I share a few important announcements with you. It is indeed a great honor for us to welcome you to the first open-air graduation of the university. Whilst we are getting our Kutzenberg Center ready for the Netball World Cup later this year, we still wanted our graduates to have the full Stellenbosch University graduate experience and that is why we're happy to host you here today at our iconic Marty's Athletic Stadium. The promotion of multilingualism is one of the core priorities at Stellenbosch University. And to that end, interpreting in Afrikaans, English and Isitosa will be available in this session for anyone interested. If you would like to make use of this service, or even if you're just curious, please raise your hand now 
and someone will come to you with a headset. To switch it on, you can just pull the ears slightly apart. You can find Afrikaans on channel one, English on channel two, and Isikosa on channel three. The channel can be adjusted with the round button with the arrows in the middle. The larger round button adjusts the volume. If you would like to make use of the interpreting service, please just raise your hand and one of the ushers will get to you. We kindly ask that at the end of the ceremony, you please leave the headphones on the chair. Molweni mvakwe mini nje. Namkele kile nonke kulom sito wo twaliso stanga lwale university as Stellenbosch. Aiko kala kom sito oku dimanje dimanje kukwenza izazi so ezimbalwa pambi kokba kukalo engo kusemte twen. Enko singo kunboleka indlebezen. Goeie middag allemaal en hartelijk welkom aan elkeen van u bij hier in maart graden plechtigheid van Universiteit Stellenbosch. Mijn naam is Bantu en ik doe de aankondiging voor ons ambtelijk begin met die ceremonie. Dank u voor uw aandacht. The ablution facilities are inside the stadium levels and all entrances are clearly marked. In the zanga sese zinga pagati kwibala le mitalo. In the la zogungena zi paulu en gokutakileyo. We also have medical assistance available. If you need help, please do not hesitate to approach any of the ushers. Taraswak Mierisa Baistan Baskakbar, and Dini Haup Banurag, moet asseblief nie huiver om enige van ons richting aanwijsers te nader nie. Any lost and found items can be handed in at the information kiosk in front of the venue. If you have lost something, you are welcome to inquire there. And in the event of an emergency evacuation of this venue, please proceed calmly to soccer field B next to the main pavilion. Please follow the instruction of the safety officer and campus security staff. And in the case of a note on the of this local, go rustig voort naar the uitgang of the aan and en kom by mekaar op the soccer field B langs aan the Wolf Pavilion. Volg asseblief die instructies van die veiligheidsbeamte, sowel as campus veiligheidspersoneel. A prayer room is available for our Muslim graduates and guests. You're welcome to utilize the venue, which is on the first floor in the pavilion. Our ushers will advise you where the venue is located. Graduates, there is a Marty data flyer on your chair. Please scan the QR code to stay connected with the Marty Global Community and to mark the occasion of you becoming an official member of the Marty Alumni Community, we have gifted you with an alumni pin. We ask that you wear it with pride. Now, on to the graduation ceremony itself. Allow me to introduce to you our musicians, Conquering Spirits, that was led by Nabagazim Nugwana, the Stellenbosch University Wind Ensemble, conducted by Pamela Kierman and Richard Kuhn, and the vocalist Session Davies. Please help me in giving them a warm round of applause. The presiding officer at this ceremony is the Vice Chancellor, Professor Wim de Villiers. Graduates, when we get to the awarding of degrees, Please walk up to the dean and hand your announcement card to the official. Then, after your name has been read, take your card back and walk to the presiding officer. Bow and then allow the hooding by the acting registrar, Mr. Ashman Daniels. Then you turn around for acknowledgement by the audience before you proceed to the end of the stage. We ask and kindly remind you to please look up and smile for the official photographers. You are welcome to take photographs, members of the audience, but we ask that you please switch off your sound and your flash and that you keep your cell phone devices on silent for the duration of the ceremony. Each and every graduate deserves their big moment. Therefore, we request that you do not leave the venue before the whole ceremony has been concluded. Once the procession has left, we respectfully request that you exit the stadium swiftly so that cleaning and preparation for the next ceremony may commence as soon as possible. Please take along any waste items such as water bottles, tissues, etc., and dispose of these safely in the bins outside. 
The official photographers have set up a studio in the sports science building, as well as next to the alumni marquee tent to my left. We ask and invite that you to make use of the services. Also look out for the Marty Shop mobile unit next to the alumni tent for purchasing Stellenbosch University branded items to remind you of the successful academic journey that we're celebrating here today. And at the end of the ceremony, we invite you to the alumni marquee tent on the soccer field next to the stadium, that's to my left, so that you can come and celebrate with us the momentous occasion of you graduating with a glass of bubbly or something without bubbles and maybe a glass or two, perhaps not three. We do have two very special requests. We kindly request that you refrain from walking on the athletics track at any time. Please only make use of the red carpet when leaving the stadium. Please do note that the entire stadium is a smoke-free area. We ask that you do not smoke inside the stadium. A piece of good news, the graduation ceremony can be followed via live streaming from anywhere in the world. In case you are not aware of this, you're welcome to share the following web address with family and friends. www.sun.ac.za forward slash streaming. Let us believe daarop that Beardkracht internet verbinding and this ook die rechtstreekse uitsaai van die verrichtinge kan onderbreek. Jy sal wel steeds toegang tot die opname van die geleentheid op YouTube hee via ons stroomblad sy. You are welcome to share your graduation experiences on social media and the hashtag to use is hashtag SUGrad. Just remember to please keep your phones on silent for the duration of the ceremony. Baie dankie vir die geduld met die tale aanweisings en ko si nonke en gomonde we nunga yo yonke imialelo. Ons is bykans gereed om met die plechtigheid te begin. Ons vraag dat jy sal opstaan vir die akademiese prosessie en sal bly staan tot nadat ons die nationale lied gesing het. Lika shalokba kukalwe ngo msito. Sikala wonke umtu apaka menge klesha kunge na is tolandwe eholwen. Simen jalo kuze kutkulwe umhobe we sizwe. Distinguished guests, graduates, Marty community, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing until after we have sung the national anthem. Thank you very much. Baie danki en kose kakolo.
Good afternoon, everyone. We will begin the proceedings by singing the South African National Anthem. Goedemorgen allemaal. Ons begin die verrichtinge door Suid-Afrika se nationale lied te sing. So, friends, the musicians are going to be late. Let's give them a round of applause. Show us our appreciation for their fantastic efforts. So we're privileged to listen to the Stellenbosch University Symphonic Wind Ensemble conducted by Pamela Kierman and Richard Keen and vocalist Sashon Davies for the national anthem. Thank you to all of them. Thank you. Hiermee verklaar ek hierdie congregatie van die Universiteit Stellenbosch behoorlik geconstitueer. I hereby declare this congregation of Stellenbosch University duly constituted. Friends, at the start of this graduation ceremony, we, as the academic community, parents, partners, family, and friends, are deeply grateful for the privilege to be here today to celebrate our graduates' success. And to this end, I invite you all to remain seated while we observe a devotional moment, granting each other the space to do so according to our various secular and religious perspectives. Ek nooi u daarom uit om net so vir een weile te bly sit, terwijl ons vir een gewijde oomlik stil word, elkeen in ons eie ruimte van verskillende seculare en godsdienstige levensbeskouwings. Baie dankie. Thank you. In so good afternoon again everyone and a very warm welcome to our second day and the fourth of 11 physical graduation ceremonies scheduled for this week on our Stellenbosch campus. We're a 
a small, smallish, but very, very select crowd. So I'm sure we're going to have a lot of joy and we're going to make a lot of noise. All right? This is, after all, an athletic stadium. So let's celebrate all these wonderful performances. In addition to all of us present here, we also have online guests who have joined the proceedings via live streaming over the internet. And a very, very warm welcome to our honorary doctorate, Dr. Umalele and her guests, and we will hear more about her achievements later. But we trust that all in all, this will be a memorable experience for our candidates, family, and friends. So I am Wim de Villiers, I'm the Rector and Vice-Chancellor. I'm going to introduce you to some others here on the stage. We have Professor Dresh Ramjugarnath to my left here. He's the Deputy Vice-Chancellor for Learning and Teaching. And we have the Dean of the Faculty of Agri-Sciences, Professor Dani Brunk. And he needs no introduction to most of you, this being the Faculty of Agri-Sciences' uh, ceremony. Uh, Professor Marie de Tuy. Uh, Vice Dean of Learning and Teaching, Professor Kennedy Zama, Vice Dean of Research, Innovation and Postgraduate Studies. And also here with me is the Acting Registrar, Ashman Daniels, and the Deputy Registrar for the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, Ms. Farah Fredericks. And the two of them are going to share duties in, in, hooding, in hooding the candidates. So, Friends, here at Stellenbosch University, we believe that multilingualism is an asset. In the spirit of mutual respect for languages and cultures, inclusivity, and a welcoming culture that we are fostering at our institution, I request Dr. Nkozake Tzazula to direct a few words of welcome in Isikosa. Kubo bonke abantu abakoyo na mshanje siya na mkele. Kwezi twala andwe eziza tweswa izidanga na mshanje siya mwisa na nani. Kwezi shobo abashobo na makabane abo siya mulela in class, Kuninonke City Namkeleke. Thank you very much, Dr. Tkozula. So now, before we start the main business of the afternoon, allow me a few short remarks. To all the graduates there, congratulations. Heartiest congratulations on your remarkable accomplishment. Let's just start applauding them right off the bat. And as you no doubt know, lots of blood, sweat, and tears, but grad graduating from a rigorous academic program requires dedication, hard work, and perseverance. And you should rightfully be very proud of your achievements. We are very proud of your achievements, and we're also very proud of the commitment that you've shown to your education. So this ceremony marks the end of one chapter of your life and the beginning of another. But clearly, your education does not end here at Stellenbosch. It is a lifelong journey. It will continue to evolve and grow with you. So I exhort you to stay curious, to stay engaged, and to continue to challenge yourself to be your best self. This afternoon, we're celebrating the achievements of the Faculty of Agri-Sciences, and their many, many achievements. And Agri-Sciences play a vital role in the sustainable development of agriculture, ensuring food security and enhancing the quality of life for millions of people around the world. And as you sitting here before me know so well, Agri-Sciences encompass a wide range of disciplines, including crop science, 
soil science, plant breeding, biotechnology, animal science, and food science. And these disciplines are essential to developing new agricultural practices, improving crop yields, increasing the efficiency of production, and reducing environmental impact. And in all these many, many different ways, you will also in the future help to develop new technologies and new practices that will shape the future of agriculture. So congratulations on both these past and also these achievements yet to come. Well done. Ik zal nu een kandidaat wat er mij voorgesteld wordt die betrokken ere doktersgraad verleen. I will now, now bestow an honorary doctorate on the candidate who will be presented to me. Mr. Vice Chancellor. I have the honor to present to you Dr. Uma Lele with the request that you confer on her the degree Doctor of Agriculture Honoris Causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award the degree was taken on the grounds of the following considerations. Dr. Uma Lele is a leader in the field of economic development. Over five decades, this independent scholar and development economist has accumulated a wealth of experience in research, operations, policy analysis, and evaluation at the World Bank, universities, and international organizations. She has consistently been at the forefront of new departures in the theory and best practice of rural development, continuously challenging the status quo and pushing the boundaries in a search for a more meaningful path to development. Her body of work is characterized by the constant endeavor to influence public policy through rigorous empirical research. During her tenure at the World Bank, she led evaluations of the World Bank's forest strategy, its consultative group on international agricultural research, and its approach to global programs. She has served on numerous advisory and expert panels for international organizations, including the Sasakawa Global 2000 program and the World Food Prize. In addition, she co-chaired a task force on global research on environment agriculture nexus and the establishment and directed the global development initiative of the Carter Center and the Carnegie Corporation. As the first woman to be awarded a PhD in agriculture economics by Cornell University, Dr. Lele is the current president of the International Association of Agriculture Economists and is affiliated with the Institute of Economic Growth in Delhi. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I hereby request that you confer the degree Doctor of Science in Agriculture honoris causa on Dr. Uma Lele for her visionary leadership in the theory and practice of rural development globally and her pursuit to influence public policy through rigorous empirical research. I hereby, I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Science in Agriculture Honoris Causa on Uma Lele. Well done. Congratulations. Well done.
Thank you very much. Can I get this to you? Uh, Vice Chancellor, uh, Professor Vim de Villers, Professor Deresh Ram Jagannathan, uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Teaching and Learning, Dean of Faculty of Agricultural Science, Professor Danny Brink. Kindly allow me to thank Stellenbosch University for this great honor bestowed upon me. I'm not sure I deserve it, but I accept it. Thank you. I want to specifically acknowledge Professor Nick Wink uh, for his hard work in getting me recognized in this way in my work on the rural development. I truly appreciate the, uh, the council and the Senate of Stellenbosch University for the approval of this degree. Thank you again very much. A great gesture on your part. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Lilling. You truly do us an honor. Thank you. Thank you so much for accepting this honorary doctorate from Stellenbosch University. Congratulations. So, vrienden, ek sal nou aan die kandidaten wat in my voorgestel word, die onderskye grade, diplomas en certificate verleen. I will now confer on the candidates who are presented to me the respective degrees, diplomas and certificates. I do want to remind the candidates, however, that when they walk past here, they first have to stop here so I can cap them. Otherwise, it doesn't count, and you have to start again at year one. Meneer die vice-kanselier, ik verzoek u om die graad doctor en wijsbegeerte in die faculteit agrowetenschappen aan die kandidaten wat ik aan u voorstel te verleen. Die betrokken promotor zal telkens een kort verklaring over die proefschrift doen. Mr. Vice Chancellor. I request you to confer on the candidates who will pre present to you the degree Doctor of Philosophy in the Faculty of Agri Sciences. The supervisor concerned will give a brief outline of the dissertation. Hendrika Jacomina Busau with the dissertation The Physiology of Serratus Species Supervision by Professor John Terblanche. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, this thesis examined the physiological mechanisms by which pest fruit flies become invasive in stressful environments, from the molecular to the species level, the genetic, biochemical and metabolic adjustments that aid survival in dry environments were determined. These results are significant to pest management and forecasting the risks of biological invasions in changing climates. I request you to confer the degree on Henrik Bossua. Valelmina Jacoba Buertes, the supervision by Dr. Euster. Mr. Vice Chancellor, cultivar season maturity and storage temperature had a significant effect on the occurrence of berry skin browning in table grapes, cell membrane composition, and antioxidant levels determined in this study were able to explain the variance in browning. The variables could also successfully discriminate between green and brown berry skins. I request you to confer the agree on Anel Buertes. Doreen Chomba with the dissertation Maize Ear Rot Fungi and Mycotoxins Associated with Main Grays Produced in Zambia under supervision of Dr. Lindy Rose. Okay. 
Mr. Vice Chancellor, maize erod fungi reduce grain yield and quality and produce toxins in grains that are serious health implications to humans and animals. Maize cultivars tolerant to erod pathogen and mycotoxins, as well as agricultural practice that reduced the severity of these in Zambia were identified in the study. This could enable small growers to enhance food security and food safety in the country. I request you confer the degree on Doreen Malekano Chomba. Murray David Dunn with the dissertation The In Vitro Liquid Mass Culture of entomopathic nematodes in shake flasks and bioreactors, supervised by Professor Antoinette Malan. <coughs> Mr. Vice Chancellor, insect parasitic nematodes or roundworms are used as biocontrol agents of pest insects. An artificial liquid mass culture technique for locally isolated nematodes has been established. This proof of concept was developed in shake flask and desktop bioreactors. Results from the study are upscalable for the production in large-scale commercial bioreactors and I request you to confer the degree on Murray David Dunn. Kia Edwards with the dissertation approaching authenticity issues in processed meat products by using hypospectral imaging and chemometrics, supervised by Dr. Paul Williams. Mr. Vice Chancellor, meat and meat products are appealing targets for adulteration, a potential economic and food safety concern. Thus, authentication of meat products is essential. A near-infrared hyperspectral imaging system was used to distinguish between processed beef patties consisting of various ingredients and adulterants, making rapid classification and authentication possible. I request you to confer the degree on Kaya Edwards. Stefan Peter Hansen with a dissertation Flectinus callus species complex linked to biological control and ecology. Supervision by Professor Pia Addison. Mr. Vice Chancellor. Two closely related insect species of banded fruit weevil are of economic importance to the fruit industries of South Africa. The aim of the study was to assess how these two species differ from each other in terms of their taxonomy, morphology, biological control, and thermal physiology. I request you to confer the degree on, P on Stefan Peter Hansen. Rousseau Janssen van Rensburg with a dissertation evaluating the effect of organic admins, soil quality parameters and semi-selective chemicals on apple replant disease, supervised by Professor Adele McLeod. Mr. Vice Chancellor, 
Apple replant disease, also known as ARD, causes reduced yields when young apple trees are replanted in the soil previously cultured with apple. The long-term application of organic amendments in apple orchards were shown to provide inconsistent ARD suppression in subsequent plantings. Soil quality indicators, which were not indicative of ARD suppressiveness, were identified for assessing sustainable soil management practices. I request you to confer the degree on Rochelle Janse van Rensburg. Megan Serres Matthews with the dissertation The Global Spread and Detection of Fusarium Oxysporum Cubins Tropical Race 4, supervised by Dr. Mostert. Mr. Vice Chancellor, a plant disease an epidemic caused by the fungus Physerum oxysporum formis specialis cubens, tropical race 4, is a devastating banana production um, worldwide. Protocols were optimized in this thesis to detect the pathogen in the soil and a point of care um, identification method was developed to rapidly detect the pathogen in plant material. Its global spread diversity and population structure was also elucidating using a whole genome comparative approach. I request to confer the degree on Megan Sarah Matthews. Tim Nofu Lobesifu Mkobe with the dissertation Wheat Species Diversity and Impact in Smallholder Crop Livestock Farming Landscapes, supervised by Dr. Ethel Piri. Mr. Vice Chancellor, the study investigated the response of wheat species dynamics in manure and organic fertilizer regimes in maize cropping livestock systems compared to surrounding grassland vegetation in two agroecological zones in Eswatin. It was demonstrated that environmental factors and fertilizer regimes resulted in different wheat species communities between study areas. I request you confer the degree on Dem Nodfo Lobe Sudfu Mnube. Lindsay, Lindsay Mucena with the dissertation Sensitivity of Apple Rootstocks to Water Stress, supervised by Professor Mijli. Mr. Vice Chancellor, the study quantified seasonal transpiration of rosy glow apple trees on rootstocks of contrasting vigor and responses to water deficits. Trees on more dwarfing rootstocks used less water and had higher water productivity compared to more vigorous rootstocks. Results did not support the hypothesis that trees on dwarfing rootstocks are more susceptible to water stress. I request you to confer the degree on Lindsay Mochena. Ketu Rasilumele Numatandina with the dissertation Determination of Variance Components for Skin Traits of Ostriches in South Africa, with the supervision provided by Dr. Engelbrecht.
Mr. Vice Chancellor, the study found that significant genetic variation exists in ostrich leather triads of economic importance to allow for the genetic improvement of leather quality. The dominant driver of skin value is grading, however, which is largely based on visual damage and defects. Therefore, skin damage and defects such as hair also need to be minimized to maximize leather income. The study also shows that the implementation of crossbreeding can have economic benefits with regard to most leather trades. These results can be used to develop a structured breeding plan to maximize profitability and to contribute to the sustainability of the ostrich industry. I request you to confer a degree on K2 Ratshilumelo Nimo Tandani. Thank you for your To this Heli Keron Nguenya with the dissertation simulation, my apology, simulating natural processes to scale up ecological restoration in lowland sand Feinbos, supervised by Professor Karen Esler. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, improving the management of alien plant invasions can be better executed by combining insights, efforts and experiences from the fields of invasion and restoration ecology to inform restoration practice. This PhD examined the technical and financial effectiveness of treatments that sidestepped or simulated natural processes to scale up native species recovery in a highly threatened Cape floristic region habitat. I request you to confer the degree on Duduzile Keron Nguenya. Sipukasi Inyeleka, with the dissertation, The Potential of Nutrifin in Broiler Chicken Production, supervised by Dr. Elsie Peterson. Mr. Vice Chancellor, the study investigated the use of fenugreek based natural growth promoters on the ability of broilers to manage production induced stresses. The functionality was confirmed for optimally housed animals. The product did not reduce the effect of stress and showed that optimally managed animals are key to performance. I request that you confer the degree to Sipukazi Neeleka. Matthijs Cornelius Pretorius, with dissertation identifying factors associated with citrus slow decline in South Africa, supervised by Professor Adele McLeod. Mr. Vice Chancellor, citrus slow declines occurs in orchards older than nine years old and eventually results in yield reductions. Multivariate analysis of more than 40 leaves, soil, root, and trank variables revealed that diseased trees were characterized by higher leaf sodium levels and several bark elements. Color infrared image analysis had the best potential for identity identifying declining trees. I request you to confer the degree on MC Pretorius. Jacobus 
Francois Nodier Smith with dissertation Determination of Optimal Soil Conditions and Foliar Nutrient Levels in Commercial Rooibos Tea Production, supervised by Dr. Hardy Peters. Mr. Vice Chancellor, soil and foliar nutrient norms for robust tea cultivation were not known. Therefore, boundary line approach analysis of robust producers, soil and plant data, and long term field trials were conducted. The soil and foliar nutrient sufficiency ranges derived in this study are of crucial for sustainable robust production in South Africa. I request that you confer the degree on Jakobus Francois Nodia Smith. <laughs> Carla Sneiman with dissertation unraveling the impact of non-saccharomyces derived nanoproteins on wine properties, supervised by Professor Benoit Duval. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, the ability of yeast cell wall compounds to improve wine properties is informed by their biochemical characteristics. In this work, the extraction from different yeast species was optimized and their characteristics were explored. The results could ultimately contribute to the development of novel yeast-derived products for the wine industry. I request you to confer the degree on Carlos Neyman. Lisa Claire Ronquist Ross with the dissertation and analysis of the South African food and beverage, beverage industry efforts since 1994 in responding to major shifts in food consumption patterns and mapping the potential future applications of science and technology advances to provide safe, affordable and nutritious foods. Supervised by Professor Gunnar Sigge. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, consumption shifts, the application of food science and technology advances to meet these shifts and the extent to which nutrition practices are integrated into core business practices were explored. Underutilized or emerging food sources that could provide safe, affordable and nutritious foods relevant for South Africa were also identified. I'd just like to add this candidate completed her PhD while relocating twice to different continents, working for four global companies, and while raising twins at the same time. I therefore request you to confer the degree on Lisa Claire Ronquist Ross. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I request you to confer the following degrees in the Faculty of Agri-Sciences. Meneer de Vice-Kanselier, ek versoek om die volgende grade in die Faculty Agri-Wetenskappe te verleen. Magister in Natuurwetenskappe, Master of Science. Amber Justine Africa, cum laude. Nicole Jesse Blakeway, cum laude. <clears throat> Ka 
Kaili Bogart. Kaili Carter, cum laude. Jenny Jessica Krause. Rocco Diber. Kerry Paul Jordan. Benita Kim. Ellen Klein, Eileen Klein, cum laude. Paul Hendrik Lombard. Jabulani Majaha. Kaili Mateisa. Alexia Papagiosio. Cum laude. Rudei Joanne Petty. Helen Pitzer. Dolly Tuhandi. Nadia Fulyun. Die graad magister in natuurwetenschappen en landbouw. The degree Master of Science in Agriculture. Nsobu Happiness Baloyi. Nicolas Basson. Cecile Bester, cum laude. Yannicka de Beer. Salise Dippenaar, cum laude. Willisle Mslandu Glamini. Talita Erasmus. Lisa Marie Ferenout, cum laude. Michel Goos, cum laude. Alfred William Horn. Abdul Gassib Jacobs.
Stephen Christian Jordan. Asife Makalisa. Zinkle Mufule. Luchlantla Samantha Macabella. Michelle Newman. Cum laude. Pietres Johannes Nowers. Jessica Ann Old. Monye Alet Paul. Hendrik Stefanus Pretorius, cum laude. Johannes Jacob Pretorius. Martin John Richard. Brian Joseph Sakala. Lome Smith. Reinhard Swart, cum laude. Jana Mart van der Merwe, cum laude. Benjamin Birkenstedt van Grenen. Lianei van Niekerk. John Marie Visser. Michaela Ann White. Die graad magister in natuurwetenschappen en bosbouw en houtwetenschappen. The Master of Science in Forestry and Wood Sciences. Ellen John Hubbard, cum laude. MJ Jacobs. Alwijn Nietling. Undamelelo Rabojo. Gerald Hasvinei Taziwa. Jacobus Hugo Visser Zandberg. Die graad magister in natuurwetenschappen en bewaringsecologie. 
the degree Master of Science in Conservation Ecology. Jade Andrews. Ohamani Madlana. Amber Terry Smith, cum laude. Anne Marie Steyl. The Graad Magister in Natuurwetenschappen in Voedsel en Voedingssekerheid. The Degree Master of Science in Food and Nutrition Security. Olivia Achieng Agutu. Suzanne Hobson. Leandri Linde, cum laude. Densia Makoku. Sibongile Princess Nkamu. Rishan Reiters. Yalet Chenda Sichivula. Die Graad Magister in Natuurwetenschappen in Voedselwetenschap. The degree Master of Science in Food Science. Jana Becker, cum laude. Lenei Becker. Marzan Engelbrecht. Kim Teresa Mannix, cum laude. Die Graad Magister in Landbouw, the degree Master of Agriculture. Wilhelm Heinrich Naudier. Kabanga Tabu Sakankale, cum laude. Karen van der Linde. Die Graad Honneurs Baccalaureus in Natuurwetenschappen, the degree Bachelors of Science Honours. Andrea Jordan September. Die Graad Honneurs Baccalaureus in Landbouw with a degree Bachelor of Agriculture Honours. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. The degree Postgraduate Diploma in Forestry and Wood Science. 
van Lady Dr. Tsego. Je nagraadse diploma in agronomie, postgraduate diploma in agronomy. Sibulele Babalu in Yoka. The graad baccalaureus in natuurwetenschappen en landbouw. The degree Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. Nsaku Clinton Baloyi. <laughs> Terence Max Chapel. <laughs> Johan Andreas de Jager. It's Zan Esterijsen, and she will be hooded by her sister, Miss Lisa Esterijsen. Zan Esterijsen. <laughs> Sabrina Marini Fernandez. Matthew Daniel Guest, cum laude. <laughs> Shalane Shelby Hartnick. <laughs> Daniel Johannes Avenga. Garner William Hall. <laughs> Courtney Lee Kempen. <laughs> Conrad Clicks. Kumolemo Katlejo Lislape. <laughs> Kewin Scott Lauder. <laughs> Patience Kamuhelo Matlala. Ethan Anton McCrory. Claire Mandel. Robin Laken Reed. Theo Stefan Smeiser. <laughs> Franco Christian Stander. <laughs> Madeleine van der Hoven will be hooded by her father, Dr. Chris van der Hoven. Marijke Helene van Seil. <applaus> Ch 
Jessica Danielle Fissel. Sihle Kowa. Die graad bakkelaarjes in die natuurwetenschappen in Bosbouw, Bosbouw in houtwetenschappen. The degree Bachelor of Science in Forestry, in Forestry and Wood Science. Dirk Gernholz. Ayanda Nkubane. Gina Park. <applaus> die graad bakkelaarjes in die natuurwetenschappen en bewaringsecologie. De degree Bachelor of Science in Conservation Ecology. <applaus> Carla Danielle Berger. En Kosinati Nkuna. Debra Elizabeth Pesco. Jonathan Perlo Jarman. Anneli Smit. Die graad bakkelaarjes in natuurwetenschappen en voedselwetenschap. The degree Bachelor of Science in Food Science. Cassandra Norkie. Die graad bakkelaarjes in landbouw, the degree Bachelor of Agriculture. Matthew Benjamin David Banks. Oki Vian Becker. Konstantin Nicolas Butalas. Shirley Brunk. Thomas Stephen Bursey. Marco Bijleveld. David Jacobus de Villiers. Philippus de Toy. Hermanus Cornelius Martinez Furi. Gerard Wallace Reynold Gillian. Jordan Fetcher Hoffman. Dirk Hofmeier. Ja. 
Jennifer Jane Kijer. Tyler Jade Kinnear. Rivoningu Manganye. Mahlape Karabelu Mosaling. Barry Adrian Westeisen. Barry. Barry. <laughs> well done, Barry. Heinke Donald Riggs. Yulandri Sauerman. <laughs> Christopher Johnson Tinnick. <laughs> Kolbe. Hofmeier Eis. Marnei van Jerden. En laatstens Christophe Viljoen. Meneer de Visiekanselier, ik verzoek u om aan die kandidaten wie zijn naam ook aan u voorgelegd is. Maar wat niet hier tegenwoordig is, nie, die onderscheiden graden in hun afwezigheid te verleen. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I request you to confer the degrees on those candidates whose names have been presented to you, but who could not attend in their absence. Ik verleen die onderscheiden graden aan die kandidaten in hulle afwezigheid. I confer the respective degrees on the candidates in their absence. Congratulations. Come on, let's give them a cheer, all of them. Come on. Baie geluk. Wel gedaan. Zo, so, ons het nu die toekering van die graden afgehandeld. En namens die Universiteit Stellenbos wil ik allemaal van u wat vandaag hier kwalificatie verwerven. het. Baie geluk wens met die verwerving van die bijzondere mijlpaal. So, you've now achieved something that nobody can ever take away from you. You're now a Stellenbosch University alumnus. Well done. You're joining more than 200,000 other alumni across the globe who are connected to Stellenbosch University. In waar jullie ook al raak loop, kan ik niet anders te as om so beindruk te wees die bijdrage wat jullie leven nie. Wherever I get in touch with you, I cannot fail to be so impressed with the significant contribution that you make to society. And we have Stellenbosch alumni in alumni chapters all over the world. There are 19 across the country, there's 19 in South Africa, and we have 33 across the globe and counting, from Namibia to Hong Kong, San Francisco to Dubai. We have thousands of Martis that are connecting and reconnecting with the university in meaningful ways that are networking and what Makar on a steen and help 
en met mekaar help ook om werk te kry, so hierdie netwerke is baie belangrik. So wherever you are in the world, you'll be able to keep in touch, so please, stay in touch with your alma mater, you are now alumni, you members of the convocation, so please keep in touch and visit our website www.martisalumni.com but you'll be very pleased that I'm also going to invite you now to the alumni marquee after this ceremony to celebrate your wonderful achievements with a glass of bubbly and that's adjacent to the athletics kiosk on my left but I also wish to congratulate parents, spouses, family and friends with the achievement of your loved one. Ek wil al die ouwers en die vriende en die geselle, geselle en die familie ook baie geluk wens met die wonderlijke prestatie van julle gradiant. I think it will be most appropriate for our graduates to acknowledge their support, the, the blood, sweat and tears that they also shared with a hearty round of applause from your side. So, okay, so just before we end off, what about just some more joy, just for the last time. Let's go. And hearty congratulations to our very worthy recipient of our honorary doctorate, Dr. Uma Lele. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So as it now the end of the verrichting is bereik, and I verklaar this congregation of the University of Stellenbosch gesloten. We've now reached the end of the proceedings, and I hereby declare this congregation of Stellenbosch University closed. So please rise and remain standing while the academic procession leaves the stage.